It's the end of the week, which means the end of this week's memory challenge. And this week's challenge was to learn yoga poses. So hopefully you had a lot of fun learning new poses, or you know, if you've never even done yoga, fill in the pain that comes with yoga. Now, I have not been looking forward to the end of the week because I have to show you that I learned some new yoga poses. So here on the card, I wrote some different moves. I had no idea what they were because I did some yoga already, but these are some completely new ones. And they're horrible. They're the worst thing ever. And so I can already hear you laughing because I could show you these different yoga poses. And I'm going to be terrible at them because I'm not as flexible as I should be to probably do these yoga poses. But whatever. Okay. And so I have to keep adjusting the camera to make sure I'm doing it right. But the first one I'm going to be doing is, uh, I believe, eagle. I'm doing it right, eagle. So let me put that there. So this one, okay, I'm going to the camera. This one's just nonsense. Like you're twisting like a pretzel. Okay, so I'm going to make sure. Straight. Okay. Woo! So, okay. Keep it like that. Just like that. Like that. And this is ego pose or a very, very horrible ego pose. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to be holding these poses forever, okay? <laughs> Let me make sure there's no no other ones, if I can remember correctly, that are on or standing up. Uh, No. So, I'm going to turn this a little bit more down so you can just make sure you can see me doing the pose. Okay, dove, dove pose. Hey, how's it going? Dove pose. This one is not going to look fun at all. So, okay. Leg straight. Something like this. <laughs> I'm scared of the next part. <laughs> I don't know how that lady did. Uh, this is the worst. <sighs> okay. Something like that. Oh my god. It's horrible. You can feel your back. Okay, so that... That's a uh, dove pose, or uh, whatever, we'll move on. Okay, woo! <sighs> right, fish pose is gonna be like dove pose, but it's a little bit uh, just like, oh, there we go. Oh. Very easy. At first I'm doing the right move. I decided to pick at least like a couple of easy ones so I didn't have to kill myself, but there we go. That was fish. Okay. Uh, oh my god, not horse. Okay, horse. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird and I don't like it. It's weird and I don't like it at all. Okay, so we go. Okay, come on. Oh! And then my leg is burning and it hurts. That would be a good kind of hurt. Okay. That was horse. I'm almost done. Could be horse. Eagle was that pretzel one. Fish was that one. Okay. Garland pose. Garland pose. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> this is garland pose, apparently. I can feel her like in the inner thigh. It doesn't feel good. I don't like it at all. That's why my hands are in a prayer position because I'm praying for the paint to finish. Okay. There we go. For camera garland pose. Oh my god. Scale pose lotus. I'm not even sure I could do this one. The other one, I, this one I probably cheated when I was practicing. I can't even do lotus pose, first of all. So that's problem number one. Okay, so that goes. Okay, forget it. I'm just gonna say crisscross. So it's supposed to be your feet are on top, but clearly I'm not having a good stretch loose day. And so this one, so you do that, you're in lotus, you're supposed to be in lotus, but just lift yourself off the ground and just like flip flip. <laughs> and so it's pretty much arms and the legs killing you. Okay. Uh so that's Okay, last one. 
This one I'm gonna look completely stupid doing. It's a line pose. Yeah, I'm doing it right. This is, I don't know why it's like this, but don't make fun of me. Okay? Uh, let me make sure. You're gonna, you're gonna want to see my face because it's gonna be completely stupid. It's gonna be really dumb. Okay. <clears throat> Why is this a pose? <laughs> Line pose. <laughs> I'm done with that. Why do you have to stick your tongue out to do that pose? No idea why. Absolutely weird. But there you go. <laughs> so I I use memory techniques to help me learn these different positions. And just because I'm not flexible enough, I was able to do them to the right potential that they should be done. But I knew where my body should have been, how it should be positioned. If I were more flexible, I could actually get into those positions. That dove pose was absolute evil. The lion pose made no sense. Eagle pose being a pretzel, you know, that, that, that stuff. No. Nah. And then that scale of pose lotus. That, uh, to get the feet, you know, to overlap or whatever. That was a hard part. Hanging up started to burn, out, burn in the time, you know, I was in it. But, um, you know, I had more upper body strength and, like, I guess the flexibility. But there you go. Um, so you can use memory techniques to learn other things besides just, you know, information. You can actually learn, I guess, like, physical information? I, I don't know how exactly you would call it. But information that has a physical aspect to it. As you can saw... As you saw me do, and I just made a complete fool of myself, <laughs> looking totally weird. But it's in the name for memory techniques, and showing you that these memory techniques can help you learn absolutely anything. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video, and look forward to tomorrow for a new memory challenge. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on memory techniques, how to do better in school, memory challenges, updates, and much more. Also, remember to click the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are down below in the description. You also can check out these videos. If you want to learn all the memory techniques and learn how to apply them to all sorts of information, or if you want to start competing in memory competitions, you can check out my programs down below in the description. Look forward to my next video and get ready to get the best memory of your life.